They wait for you beneath the velvet sky. I like the fact that it has a tutorial. Hopefully my voice is coming through. Is there an eerie notes escaping from had enough? Kind of feels a little bit like Minecraft almost. Definitely has like a early PS1 vibe going for it. But why there's a door right here? This place again. I don't know how I keep ending up here. If I knew how I got here, maybe I could avoid it. But every time, it's a different path. And every time, it's the same place. I wonder how long I'll be here this time. the waves. That wave animation is actually pretty keen. It makes you feel like it's a part of something like the ocean. You know, ebb and flow. Tide rising and falling. And of course there's a building. What does the building tell us? I used to be able to get into the boathouse. I don't remember if the lock is broken or if I just lost the key. Either way, I doubt there's anything in here worth the effort. It could take a... it would take to get you inside. Maybe it's my escape. Jump down there, there's a ramp. Something kind of scary over there, so we need a couple of docks. <laughs> There was another person here today. He sat on the dock and stared out to the sea. We didn't speak, we just sat and stared with him. I don't know how long we sat together. He was gone by the time I looked back. Is that a bed? Is there a bed? Oh, there's like a king size bed stuck in the middle of the uh... This is trippy the way these rocks form and ebb and flow. So okay, there's a bed. Ooh, I don't know how to feel about this. Is this foreshadowing happening? Another note. I think there's something comforting about the dark here. Or maybe I just don't like looking at the horizon for too long. I don't know what's out there, but none of it looks hopeful. Maybe I'm better off in here. This sounds like a person who might be losing hope. Alright, um... Wow, there's instruments over there, okay. I met a man wandering the beach today. We spoke for a while, but I don't know if he really knew I was there. I mostly just listened. He spoke in circles of the life in his past, of how things used to be before. Before what? He didn't say. I wonder how long you have to spend here before you end up like that. I worry I'm going to end up like that if I've stuck here too long. I worry that maybe I'm already becoming that. Can I jump down? I forget what they call this, but I'll put it in the description if I ever remember to subtitle it. Um, but yeah, so we'll go down here first before we continue on, because obviously there's instruments in a bed. I see notes. I saw a girl walking along the cliff today. She sang as she walked and her voice rang out along the shore. The fog lifted for a moment, so I sat and listened for as long as I could bear it. I, I paused for a second as I'm reading this because the, 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 the wave stopped. I'm like, oh crap. Anyways, I think she left where she saw me crossing the beach. She was gone by the time I climbed the cliff. So I'm assuming that's the cliff we're talking about.
hatched. Let's run over to check out the bed. That's just, you know, it's like living rock or something. Or living rock. Who knows? So this is even an even larger version of an what do they call it? Infinity bed? I can't quite remember, but it, it's something. Anyway, let's see what this says. King size beds for sale. Never used. What the hell? A big bed, not gonna lie, but what's it doing on the shore? Okay, so it's something for sale. Is that the girl? Or is that just like a statue or something? I can't quite tell because, you know, when you have a rock like that, maybe it's just a phantom or, or oh, I apparently missed this. This is a note, right? I remember the first time I came here, the beach seemed wider back then. The cliffs taller and the grass was still alive. Now it seems every time I end up here, the cliffs have crumbled more, the water is rising further. I can't even escape this stretch of beach anymore. I used to be able to circumnavigate the whole island, even if I still couldn't get in there. Hmm. Is that like a metaphor for like maybe dementia or something? Like, as we get older, we get more forgetful, things change, you know, it's not the same as it used to be. Obviously, we're gonna go up that hill, but. Maybe this is just, uh, like I said, something about old age maybe something to do with uh, that dementia that something else. Is that thing floating now? That, I could... Maybe it was a moon I was looking at. My bad. I could swear that was floating right here on the... On the, on the, on the uh, oh, it disappeared. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> something tells me this is the end, boys. All right, let's read. The truth is, I've got I've got out of this place almost as many times as I've ended up here. The problem is, I never seem to be able to leave by the same route twice. I've only found one surefire way to get out of this place every time. Just have to wait it out. What? Okay. So... Okay, things are getting darker, things are getting darker, okay, is this a uh, symbol that I'm dying? What? I'm, I'm dropped straight to the desktop. I don't get it. Is this a multiple, uh, a multiple adventure? Guess we could load it up again going to load up they wait for you beneath the velvet sky all right let me see what they they wait let's see what they have to say nope that uh i believe that was it that was i believe everything okay just uh did some research and found out that's it that was that's all there was we just waited out no real ending no real story per se of what happened Going to the desktop kind of sucked. Um, it would have been nice to have at least some kind of a screen or something instead of being kicked right back to the desktop. But it is what it is. Interesting game. A short uh, walking simulator with a very uh, narrative story. Some of the things were confusing. Like, okay, what does the bed have to do with the narrative? What about the other people that this person saw? Is this a dimension where multiple people come to for a short while? Or is this a, pl you know, I'm always curious, like, what's the real story behind this? Anyways, I don't have much more thoughts to put into this. I'm going to go ahead and let things go here. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.